indirect or inverse proportion. When one part of the proportion increases, the other part of the proportion decreases. Here is an example. A season ticket for the soccer costs 900 rand. How much does it cost per game? Okay, so if you watch one game, it means that that game costs you 900 rand. The calculation is 900 divided by 1 is equal to 900. But when you watch two games, each game will cost you 900 divided by 2 is 450 rand. So both of the games will be valued 450 rand. When you watch three games, each of the games will cost 900 divided by 3 is 300 rand. When you watch four games, each of the games will be valued at 900 divided by 4 is equal to 225 rand. So do you see that the more games you watch, the less you will pay per game? Example 1 will graphically be displayed as followed. One game is equal to 900 rand. Two games is 450 rand. Three games was 300 rand each. Four games was 225 each. Okay, so let's quickly start drawing this graph. So do you see that it decreased to less than 200 rand for five games? Now this is the graph of an inverse or indirect proportion. Do you see that it is negatively sloping because the more games that we watch, the less we will pay per game. Another example. It takes one person 12 days to paint a hall. If you increase the number of painters, how long will it take to paint the hall? So one person takes 12 days. 12 divided by 1 is 12. Two people is 12 divided by 2 is 6. But do you also see that 1, if I double the amount of people, 1 times 2, I divide the amount of days. 12 divided by 2. 1 times 3 is 3. And 12 divided by 3 is 4. Okay, so, and, but we can also go 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 people is 1 times 4 is 4. 12 divided by 4 is 3. Or we can go from the 2 directly to the 4. We double the amount of people and the half of 6 is 3. So the more people helping to paint the room, the less time it will take to finish the job. Okay, so this is the graphic display. The amount of days increases, sorry, the, the amount of days increases from the left to the right and the amount of people decreases. 